glory come in. God wants us to shine. And so darkness then is the, is the enemy. The Bible says that evil is done in the darkness. And how many of you know that there's certain places that you go that you ought not to go, and when you go in there, one of the first things they do is they darken the place. They darken it. Because kind of what's going on in there is not stuff that should be going on anyway. And how many of you know when most crimes are committed? At night. In the darkness. And so the Lord made light. And then when he made us, he wants us to shine. And just like the moon reflects the light of the sun, the Lord wants us to reflect the light of his son, and so in Jesus. And so shining uh, is very, very, very important. My scripture says, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. God has made us to shine. And so one of the things that I want to do is I really want to go where? Heaven. Okay? And the devil, do you think the devil wants me to go to heaven? No. And so you know that God makes a light to shine our way. The Bible says that he, that he can direct our paths. In fact, it says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And so if I read my Bible, and if I pray, then God kind of lays out my path, or kind of puts the footsteps. When I was a little boy, I'd go hunting with my dad. And my dad would tell me when we got into thick brush and stuff like that, my dad would always say, because I was little and he was big, he'd say, wherever I put my foot, he said, when I move it, he said, you put your foot there. And he said, that way you'll have a, you'll have a path. And that's really what the Lord has told us. He's told us just to follow him. And so somebody says, but what? Wait a minute. Is there anybody here? You don't have to raise your hand on this one because we don't want to be embarrassed and we probably wouldn't be real honest. But I'll be honest, when I was a lot younger, I was kind of scared of the dark. If I had to walk home late at night, and I had to go up an alley or something like that, it made me a little nervous. Because how many of you know in the night, what's the problem with night? You can't see. And so you really don't know what's there. And when you don't know what's there, it's a little bit scary. Now, the Bible says that when we're walking and we don't know what's there, it's called faith. And faith kind of lights our way. And so, I, I, right about the middle there, that guy got kind of lost. But anyway, he had help. Fix it. That one, no, not that one. That one. Okay. And so, what, what, so when the night, how many of you know that when it gets night, the big light goes out, the sun? Let me give you an example. Uh, let's, let's, just try to, let's just try to follow the night. Sometimes when we go to sleep or it comes bedtime and everybody gets quiet and all the lights go out, sometimes we get a little bit scared. We hear noises or we think there's something going on outside and we get a little bit nervous. But how many of you know that when you're asleep, Jesus doesn't? And how many of you know that God sees just as well in the dark as he does in the daytime? And how many of you know that God watches over us all the time? And so if this works out right, can you turn out that light for me, Sister Mel? And we need to turn this. Can you turn off the overhead? We're not going to need it anymore. Okay. I want you guys to kind of look in these, at these footprints. Now, they're real easy to see because the lights are on. And that's the way it is with the Lord. Sometimes it's really easy to see. It's really easy to have faith. It's really easy to do. Like going to church, you know. In church, it's real easy to sing Christian songs. In church, it's real easy to do the right things. But how many of you know we're not in church all the time? In fact, we're not in church very much. Most of the time, we're out and about. And so what I need you to do, Michelle, if you would, is just turn all the lights off. And if there's any lights up there, Justin, you need to come off. Can you guys see the, can you see the footprints? Can you see them still up here walking towards heaven? Huh? How many of you know that God made you to glow in the dark? 
I asked you guys at the very beginning of the service, I said, did anybody go in the dark? And some of you said, yeah, but you were messing with me. But how many of you know we are made to glow in the dark? All right, turn the lights back on, Christopher. We are made to glow in the dark. Because if we have the light of Jesus in our lives, then we are made to glow in the dark. I bought me some gloves. I don't even know it's cold in here. I'll pretend I'm Sister Miller. I'm freezing to death. I'm sweating icicles. Tonight, 